Clemson's newest quarterback commit grew up close to where head coach Dabo Sweeney is originally from. He was heavily recruited by Ryan Day in Ohio State, Brian Harson in Auburn, and Kirby Smart in Georgia, but in the end, he felt there was no better place to attend school than Clemson. This quarterback commit breaks the mold of the Tigers recruiting a top-notch quarterback every other class and has the potential to be a future superstar. I am talking about none other than four-star recruit Christopher Vizina. But before we get into this video, if you enjoy daily college football content, make sure to leave a like on this video and to subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it. Christopher Vizina currently plays high school football at Briarwood Christian, located in Birmingham, Alabama. He started his football career playing wide receiver before switching to quarterback before high school. When Christopher was in 8th grade back in 2018, college scouts came to look at offensive tackle Trent Howard. The scouts paid no attention to Vizina, who was still learning the building blocks of the position and growing into his frame, but Briarwood head coach Matt Forrester told the scouts before they left that they would be back one day to look at Christopher. When Christopher was a freshman, the starting quarterback got knocked out of the game with a concussion. Vizina would lead the Lions to the AHSAA semifinals and finish the year 11-1. Forster shared his most memorable story about Christopher with The Athletic, telling them Briarwood Christian faced Ramsey High School, the top 5A team in Briarwood's region, and Briarwood needed a touchdown towards the end of the game. The Lions had decided to double-team two defensive linemen headed to the SEC, which left another defensive lineman freed up to pressure Vizina. According to Forrester, Vizina stepped up in the pocket as the defender knocked him to the ground and threw a laser down the seam for a completion. A few minutes later, the Lions scored and won the game. Following the season, he earned his first offer from Kentucky. In May of 2020, former defensive tackle coach Todd Bates, who was the area recruit in Alabama for Clemson, reached out to Forrester to pick his brain about Vizina. Soon after, Brandon Streeter took over as Christopher's lead recruiter. As a sophomore, he led the Lions to a 9-3 record, and according to Forrester, the offense grew around Vizina as he got more and more comfortable. Between his sophomore and junior year, Christopher's recruitment would explode as he worked with Ben Neal at Quarterback Country in Birmingham and Briarwood's quarterback coach Jay Matthews. Coaches compared Vizina to other big body quarterbacks like Daniel Jones and Josh Allen, who was his favorite quarterback. Some coaches that Forster had told to come back years before returned to take a look at the Alabama high school star quarterback. As a junior, he was a part of a dynamic Briarwood offense throwing for 2,247 yards. 18 touchdowns and 5 interceptions, while also rushing for 649 yards and 16 touchdowns on the ground. He led the Lions to a 10 2 record, but they would fall to eventual state champions Clay Chalkville in the second round of the playoffs. In January, he announced his commitment to play in the All American Bowl in San Antonio, which will cap off his high school football career. He has also punched his ticket to participate in the Elite 11 finals this summer. As of now, according to 24 7 Sports Composite, Christopher Vizina is a four-star recruit who is the seventh best quarterback in the class and 52nd best player nationally. He has received over 33 different Division I offers, likes of Auburn, Clemson, Georgia, Notre Dame, Ohio State, and Ole Miss, all of which were named in his final six. The interesting offer Vizina never received was from Alabama, which he described as his dream school. The Crimson Tide offered seven quarterbacks in the 2023 cycle with six of them ranked inside the top 10 quarterbacks and top 100 recruits. Their priority, though, seemed to be focused around Arch Manning. Clemson was one of the first elite programs to express interest in Vizina, with him telling On3, they were really big on me early on. They believed in me before the hype. Clemson believed in me before I had 20-something offers. They stuck their neck out for me, kind of. That's what really stands out. Zena is considered a late fast riser when it comes to the national recruiting ranks and could see his stock increase over the next few months. He was one of two quarterbacks offered by Clemson, the other being the aforementioned Arch Manning. When Manning decided not to continue his recruiting relationship with the Tigers, Zena quickly became the priority of the recruiting class. Christopher has been to Clemson four times since November, which is more than any other school he has visited the entirety of the process, including Junior Day in February and two visits just last week when he attended a practice or returning for Saturday's spring game. Vizina's recruitment reminds me a lot of Kate Klubnik's recruitment last year with the athletic writing. Vizina first got on Clemson's radar in the spring of 2020, according to Forrester, even when the Tigers were locked in on Arch Manning. Clemson only offers one quarterback at a time, and Manning, the nation's top prospect, is arguably the most important target in recruiting history. But in the same way that Clemson communicated with Klubnik while it initially pursued Ty Thompson, who eventually committed to Alabama, the Tigers started communicating with Vizina early, even when they didn't have an offer to give. 
On Sunday, he announced he was going to make his college decision on Tuesday. Vizina told Dabo Sweeney that he had been all over the country, looking at schools but just kept coming back to Clemson and knew that's where he wanted to be. Yesterday afternoon, he announced his verbal commitment to the Tigers becoming the second commit in the 2023 cycle. Christopher's high school coach talks about how much the Clemson offer means in the recruiting world, telling the Athletic there are a few schools that are very, very selective with their offers. And Clemson is probably the most selective with all of them. I think it lets you know exactly where you stand, which in the recruiting world is probably one of the best things that can happen. Clemson says, hey, this is where you're at, and it's helpful. You don't have to guess, you don't have to wonder. When it comes to Vizina's NIL evaluation, Christopher is ranked as the 23rd highest rated player in high school with a value of $73,000. His value skyrocketed after he announced his commitment to Clemson yesterday and with the potential to rise up the recruiting boards, so might his value. When it comes to the scouting report, Vizina is projected to be a future day two pick with a comparison to Mitch Trubisky. He is projected to be a multi-year power five starter but will need two years to develop according to Cooper Pegna. So what does this mean for Clemson? According to Davis Potter from the Clemson Insider, worst case scenario, Zena will help create the kind of depth Clemson will likely need at the position into that season. The Tigers already know they're losing graduate transfer quarterback Hunter Johnson after this upcoming season. But given the name, image, and likeness climate that's rapidly heating up in college athletics, the impact of Zena's commitment goes beyond the field. According to the Clemson Insider, the Tigers have struggled when it comes to the NIL deals and seeing a highly rated quarterback commit to the Tigers, even though the NIL deals might not be there just yet, is a good sign for the future of the program as they develop the structure for NIL deals going forward. So far they have a charity fund where they will pay players $5 million for charity work, but other than that, nothing's really been developed yet. Best case scenario, he comes in and becomes a superstar quarterback. When it comes to other quarterbacks in his class, this may create a domino effect of other quarterbacks committing to other places. A handful of schools are waiting to find out where Arch Manning decides to commit, and that has led to schools casting a larger net than usual, recruiting multiple quarterbacks at once, which usually does not bode well for schools. Guys like Jaden Rashada may be ready to commit now and may not want to wait for their offer to become committable once Arch makes his decision. Although it was pretty obvious Vizino is going to commit to Clemson for a very long time, it is still an important commitment for this class. Schools that are not in the mix for Arch may end up being the winners when all is said and done. I think Christopher Vizina has the potential to be a great player at the next level, but what do you think? Is Vizina going to be a future star for Clemson? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my recent videos right here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.